2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard will get their card. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the first. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. 16 feet to the hole. It's up, it could be in. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Luke, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot on the second. Going with a three wood here. And here we are with the third shot.
Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. This one's for birdie. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. She's currently tied for seventh. Teeing off here at the third hole. Going with the five wood. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? An opportunity to make their par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently two under for the day. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Playing from around 230 yards. Two strokes off the lead. Opting for the three wood. Good shot there. Outside chance here for the birdie. A spot in the all important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Five feet coming up to the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one will be for bogey. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the fifth.
Uh, she's better than that. That'll be disappointing. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? It's sitting up pretty nicely in the sand. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting out. Out of the bunker and onto the green, but still a fair bit of effort to go here. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Okay, steady now. Four feet to the cup. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, I love a player with big heart. You've showed plenty there. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Now four back after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From around 180 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the hybrid. That dog will hunt. Trying to get to two under with this putt. Hey, nice looking line. And that will drop in for birdie. And that will take her to two under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Ting off here at the seventh. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Second shot here on the seventh.
The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Lining up the birdie putt here. Good stroke. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. But what a lovely boost. Into the top five she goes. Currently at minus three for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Looks like they've got the five wood. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Oh, what a shot by our leader. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. This one's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Still in the lead now after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Oh, that is crushed. Second shot here at the 18th. The interesting choice of the driver here. You need any inspiration? Bob Tway once holed out of the bunker to win a major. All right, safely out of the bunker and now a chance to make a putt. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. Good looking putt. What an effort that is, winning Q School and what's a pressure pack to win. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card, you still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does, does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, 
but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their very first Corn Ferry Tour event. What are they up against? What can they expect for the season ahead? Luke, it's all been fun and games up until now. Now, this is where reality hits you. Three wins, battlefield promotion, straight onto the PGA Tour. In all reality, finish in the top 25 and get your PGA Tour card for next season. There's a lot at stake, though, isn't there, Rich? Because everyone's gunning for the same prize. There is a little benefit, though. The top 75 at the end of the regular season, at least they get themselves to that Corn Ferry Tour playoffs, which is huge. Yes, but you can't think that way. You have to think top 25 or nothing else. That's the way that you get from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour. You don't have to think about the qualifying process. You're in, done, thank you. All right, the bar's been set. Shoot for the top. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty.
Nicely done. This putt coming up is for birdie. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the day. Making... Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their very first Corn Ferry Tour event. What are they up against? What can they expect for the season ahead? Luke, it's all been funny games up until now. Now, this is where reality hits you. Three wins, battlefield promotion, straight onto the PGA Tour. In all reality, finish in the top 25 and get your PGA Tour card for next season. There's a lot at stake, though, isn't there, Rich? Because everyone's gunning for the same prize. There is a little benefit, though. The top 75 at the end of the regular season, at least they get themselves to that Corn Ferry Tour playoffs, which is huge. Yes, but you can't think that way. You have to think top 25 or nothing else. That's the way that you get from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour. You don't have to think about the qualifying process. You're in, done, thank you. All right, the bar's been set. Shoot for the top. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Nicely done. This putt coming up is for birdie. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the day. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. Well, well played. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Well, this is exciting, a putt for an eagle. on a great line 
and down it goes for an eagle. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. We have a par three on this one. For the event. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. That one's right out of the top drawer. Outstanding approach shot. Seven feet to the cup. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will move her to seven under. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Second shot here on the 14th. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. She played that nicely. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Tracking, just didn't drop. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after this hole, that's how it looks. It's time to begin this par four hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 15. Opting for the 9-iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Oh, this looks pure. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Looks good off the blade. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And that makes her in a share of first. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the nine iron, I think. Great looking shot, this.
Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. I like the look of this. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take her to eight under. Looks. It's time to begin this powerful hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 15. Opting for the 9-iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Oh, this looks pure. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Looks good off the blade. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And that makes her in a share of first. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the nine iron, I think. Great looking shot, this. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. I like the look of this. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take her to eight under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Looking good. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. Leading by three strokes now. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four.
That should find the fairway. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That's a good looking shot there. Putting for birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. Big putt for par coming up. Nice stroke. And that signs off on today's round. And there you have it, folks. At the end of the opening round, they find themselves in top spot. Not bad, eh, Rich? Yes, you always want to be in first place going into the final round. In saying that, it can be uncomfortable as well. We'll have to see how this player tomorrow handles the pressure. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.